Okay, so for our 2-way ANOVA example, determine the effects of socioeconomic status and location of residence on the number of absences incurred by students in the past semester. We are going to test this at alpha is equal to 0 0.05. For our socioeconomic status, this is our data. For our socioeconomic status, that will be our factor A. And the location of services, that would be, or the location of residence, that would be our factor B. Okay, so we have, for the socioeconomic status, we have three, high, average, and low. And for the location of residence, we have there, within the city, and outside the city, we have two. For our problem statement, first is, this, is the socioeconomic status and location of residence have significant effect on the number of absences incurred by the students in the past semester? The second, is there an interaction effect between the socioeconomic status and the location of residence? For the hypothesis, we have three sets. For the first one, we have for the null, socioeconomic status has no significant effect and for the alternate, socioeconomic status has significant effect. For the second set, we have there. For the null, location of residence has no significant effect. For the alternate, we have there, location of residence has significant effect. For the third set, we have there. For the null, socioeconomic status and location of residence have no interaction effect. For the alternate, we have there, socioeconomic status and location of residence have an interaction effect. For the level of significance, we are going to test this at alpha is equal to 0 0.05. Okay, the next is let us uh, compute for the degrees of freedom. For factor A or the socioeconomic status, we have their A minus 1. Okay, we have their 3, the high, average, and low. Minus 1 is equal to 2. For the degrees of freedom for B, we have their B minus 1 is equal to 2 minus 1, we have 1. For the degrees of freedom for A by B, that is A minus 1 times B minus 1 is equal to 3 minus 1 times 2 minus 1 is equal to 2. For the degrees of freedom within, we have there N minus A times B. Our N is 48 minus A, that's 3, times B, that's 2, is equal to 42. For the degrees of freedom total, we have there N minus 1, we have 48 minus 1 is, uh, is equal to 47. For the test statistic, we will be using two-way ANOVA. Okay, so for the computation, okay, so first is let us compute for the sums. We have here the subtotals. For the, within the city, for the high, we have there 44. For the average, we have there 33. For the low, we have there 38. Our row total, we have there 115 for within the city. For outside the city, we have there for high, we have there 36. For the average, we have there 33. And for the low, we have there 31. So for the row total, we have there 100. For the uh, column total of high, we have there 80. For the column total of average, we have there 66. And for the column total of low, we have there 69. The next is for the uh, sum of squares. Okay, we need to compute for the sum of squares for A, sum of squares for B, sum of squares for between, sum of squares for A by B, some squares for total, and some squares for within. Okay? So for the sum of squares, for the formulas for this, please refer to page, refer to pages 264 to 266 of your math book, math 9 book. Okay? So, for SSA, that is, okay, for our A, the column total of uh, high is 80. Then for the average, we have there 66. And for the low, we have 69. So we have there, how many values and uh, values do we have for uh, the first column? We have there 8 plus 8. We have there 16. For the second column, we also have 16. And for the third, we have also 16. 
So we have here 80 squared over 16 plus 66 squared over 16 plus 69 squared over 16 minus the grand total of 215 squared over the total values. We have 48. So that gives us SSA is equal to 6.792. Okay. So for SSB, that is for the row, uh, row total. For uh, the first 115, okay, how many values do we have there? 8 plus 8 plus 8. We have there 24. Okay, So we have here also for the outside the city, that's 100. We also have 24. Okay, So for SSB, we have there 115 squared over 24 plus 100 squared over 24 minus 215 squared over 48. So it gives us SSB is equal to 4.688. Okay? For S is between, that is the subtotals. Okay? For the subtotal, okay, let's say we have here 44. How many values do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So we have there 44 squared over 8 plus 33 squared over 8 plus 38 squared over 8 plus 36 squared over 8 plus 33 squared over 8, plus 31 squared over 8, minus 215 squared over 48. So our S is between is 13.854. For our SSA by B, okay, again our A by B, that is uh, SS between minus SSA minus SSB. So we have here 13.854 minus 6.792 minus 4.688 is equal to 2.374. Okay? For the SS total, this 1,233, this is the summation of x squared. Okay? So we need to square every values we have or every entries we have here, then get the sum. Okay, that is 1,233 minus 215 squared over 48. That gives us 269.979. For SS within, that is SS total minus SS between. So we have there 269.979 minus our SS between 13.854. It gives us... S is within is 256.125. Okay, so we can now make our ANOVA table. We have here, for the first column, sources of variation. Second column, sum of squares. Third column, degrees of freedom. Fourth column, we have the mean squares. Fifth, we have F ratio. Sixth, we have F at 0 0.0 have the tabular value okay again this is from the f distribution table okay so then the last of course is the decision column okay so for the sources of variation we have their factor a the uh, socioeconomic status factor b we have there the uh, location uh, then, of course, the interaction between the two factors, A by B, and then within and total. Okay, so for the sum of squares, again, we have for A, 6.792. 6 for B, we have 4.688. For A by B, we have their 2.374. For within, we have their 256.125. For the total, we have their 269.979. For the degrees of freedom, of course, for A, we have 2. For B, we have 1. For uh, A by B, we have 2. For within, we have 42. For total, we have 47. Okay? For the mean squares, we have there. Okay, how are you going to compute for this? So, that is the sum of squares divided by the degrees of freedom. Okay? So, we have there 6.792 uh, divided by 2. We have 3.396. 4.688 divided by 1, we have 4.688. 2.374, 
divided by 2, we have 1.187. 256.125 divided by 42, we have their 6.098, okay? And then, for the F ratio, okay, so we have here, we need the F ratio for A, B, and A by B. So how are we going to compute for that? That is the mean squares for, or mean square with, for A, or mean square A, divided by the MS, or mean square within, Okay? So this one, so that is 3.396 divided by 6.098, that is 0 0.55. For B, we have there 4.688 divided by 6.098, that is 0 0.769. For A by B, we have there 1.187, okay, divided by 6.098, that gives us 0 0.19. 47 okay for the uh, tabular value of f at 0 0.05 we have there 2 and 42 for the degrees of freedom 2 and 42 we have 3.22 for degrees of freedoms 1 and 42 we have there 4.07 and again 2 and 42 we have there 3.22 okay so again we have for the decision rule, if the computed value of F is greater than the uh, tabular value of F, we reject the null hypothesis. Okay? So in this case, our computed value of F is less than the, com the tabular value of F. So therefore, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay? So the... Uh, the uh, socioeconomic status has no significant ha, has no significant effect. The location has no significant effect, and there is no interaction between the socioeconomic status and the location. 